After a snowplow accident, Jeremy Renner claims he's messed up. In his first social media message since being injured on New Year's Day while plowing snow, Hawkeye actor Jeremy Renner thanks supporters for their warm thoughts. Thank you for all of your nice sentiments, Renner wrote in a brief Instagram post beside a selfie showing some facial bruising. I'm currently too disoriented to type, but I send you all my love. In this video, we will be discussing all the insights about Jeremy Renner's health, but before moving further, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon for such amazing content. Without further ado, let's get started. How did the mishap happen? Prior to the incident, Renner was reportedly clearing driveways close to his Nevada home, according to Samantha Mask, Renner's publicist who gave more information about the accident that put the actor in the hospital. In order for his family to leave his house after they had spent the holidays together, Renner was clearing snow off of a private driveway on Sunday, according to his spokeswoman. Renner was with family members when the incident happened. Let's look at the official fresh statement made available Tuesday night. Mask stated that Jeremy was making positive improvement and was awake, talking, and in good spirits. He continues to be in a critical but stable condition in the ICU. The love and support being shown to him have him feeling inundated. While he recovers with his close family, the family kindly requests your ongoing good vibes. According to Washoe County Sheriff Darren Ballum, during a press conference on Tuesday, officials received a 911 call on Sunday at 8.55 a.m. PT reporting a collision involving a snowcap, a vehicle used to clear snow, and a pedestrian on Mount Rose Highway. Even though it wasn't snowing when the accident happened, according to Balaam, Mount Rose Highway was blocked because of extreme winter weather and still had snow on it. Approximately 13 to 20 abandoned cars, he continued, were also present on the road and were challenging to avoid. At 9.30 a.m. PT, the first sheriff's department unit arrived on the scene where Renner was receiving help from emergency medical services, according to Balaam. When Renner was not in the driver's seat, the snowcat began to move away. According to Balaam and Renner was struck by the vehicle, he hurt himself trying to get back into the snowcat. At the time of the collision, Renner was using his snowcat to clear snow from around his own vehicle, according to Balaam. Authorities do not think Renner was drunk at the time of the incident, according to Balaam, who described it as an unfortunate accident in a prior interview. A representative for Renner stated that the actor suffered blood chest damage and orthopedic problems. According to a source close to the actor 51, the star has already undergone two surgeries to treat his wounds. Tuesday, according to Balaam, Renner was awake and conversing with emergency personnel when they arrived at the scene. As first responders arrived, Renner's neighbors provided aid and towels while he was hurt, Balaam continued. The sheriff's office earlier stated in a news release that the actor was the only person involved in the accident. At 9.37 a.m. PT, a helicopter touched down next to the highway, and at 9.56 a.m., Renner was transported to a hospital in the Reno region, according to Balaam. The snowcat owned by Renner is currently being examined by the Washoe County Sheriff's Office to rule out any potential mechanical failure, which is a typical step in an inquiry involving such serious injuries, according to Balaam. Since Renner was on a private road used by his neighbors and not maintained by the county, he was permitted to drive the snowcat, according to Balaam. He was clearing those roads for his neighbor. Balaam continued, and he was being a terrific neighbor. According to Balaam, the police are not concerned about any wrongdoing. There was snow in some areas of western Nevada, and at the time of the accident, according to the National Weather Service in Reno, the Reno area received 6 to 12 inches of snow between New Year's Eve and New Year's Day at elevations below 5,000 feet and up to 18 inches at higher elevations. On his verified social media account, Renner has already posted a number of images and videos of himself in snowy settings, including an Instagram video from two weeks ago in which the actor looks to be operating a snowplow. As the actor remained hospitalized, Renner's family issued statements Monday evening praising hospital workers and first responders. According to a statement from his spokesman, Jeremy's family would like to express their thanks to the amazing doctors and nurses caring for him. Truckee Meadows Fire and Rescue, Washoe County Sheriff, Reno City Mayor Hillary Sheeve, and the Carano and Murdoch families. The amount of love and support from his fans has left him incredibly moved and grateful. Renner plays the titular character in the Paramount Plus series Mayor of Kingstown, but he is better known for playing Hawkeye in multiple movies from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. On Monday, Renner's Avengers co-star Mark Ruffalo pleaded for prayers on his behalf. Ruffalo wrote in his Instagram stories, prayers up for our brother Jeremy Renner on a full and swift recovery, please send him healing energy. This was truly a sad incident that happened with a Marvel superstar. We hope he recovers and is back on the sets soon. 
What are your thoughts on the same? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like our work, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.